Over the last eight years, over 100 million people in rural China have risen out of poverty, a measure of President Xi Jinping's economic development. After taking power in 2012, she began a program that has helped China meet the World Bank's 2030 target for eradicating severe poverty. The People's Daily, the official newspaper of the Chinese Communist Party CCP, referred to poverty eradication as a historic leap. Let's check more of it. She, on the other hand, has stood at the strategic height of building a well-off society in an all-around way, according to the report. The report emphasized she's propaganda value in an economic success that some suspect is built in part on fudge data. She said in a ceremony broadcast to millions via official media that China has invested 1.6 trillion yuan, or roughly $246 billion, in poverty alleviation over the previous eight years. I insisted on looking at real poverty, understanding real efforts to reduce poverty, helping those who are in real poverty, and achieving real poverty alleviation," she explained, emphasizing his personal engagement in the program. All 98.99 million poor rural people have been lifted out of poverty, said she, who has gained more personal power than any leader since Communist China's founder Mao Zedong. She stated that these people no longer need to be concerned about being able to afford food and clothing, the so-called two worries, and that the government will also meet its three guarantees of healthcare, housing, and education. She referred to the party's leadership and China's political system as the fundamental guarantees against risks, challenges, and difficulties. China pledged to retain its poverty alleviation efforts in a number one policy document today, while making some tweaks for a five-year transition toward what Beijing terms rural revitalization. According to the policy, the next stages are to consolidate and enhance achievements in poverty alleviation. According to experts cited by China's official tabloid publication, The Global Times, strengthening the ability of people in destitute rural areas to support themselves is a critical issue. According to the experts, future initiatives could include water projects to boost farm processing and transportation, which were previously government-supported projects that supply jobs. A vocalist expressed the common dissatisfaction among young, educated Chinese over their dismal financial situation and bleak job options, such as gig work. I wash my face every day, but my pocket is cleaner than my face," he says. I went to college to help rejuvenate China, not to deliver meals. His music was removed from the airwaves, and his social media accounts were suspended. Last year, a migrant worker working to maintain his family drew significant sympathy and attention after testing positive for COVID, and officials disclosed extensive details about his actions. He rose to prominence as China's hardest worker. Censors barred talk of him and local authorities stationed themselves outside his home to keep media from visiting his wife. China claims to be a socialist country that seeks to foster universal prosperity. In 2021, Xi Jinping, the country's top leader, declared a comprehensive victory in the battle against poverty. Nonetheless, many individuals are still impoverished or live just above the poverty line. Poverty has become a taboo subject that can elicit ire from the government with the country's economic prospects dimming and citizens becoming increasingly concerned about their future. The Cyberspace Administration of China, the country's internet regulator, announced in March that it would crack down on anyone who deliberately manipulates sadness, incites polarization, creates harmful information that damages the image of the party and the government, and disrupts economic and social development. It prohibits the posting of depressing videos of elderly people, disabled people, and children. A government eager to keep all conversation about China positive is behind the ban. The Communist Party boasts about how many people it has rescued out of poverty over the last four decades, while omitting to mention how, under Mao Zedong, it threw the entire nation into abject poverty. The party uses poverty reduction as a badge of legitimacy. Despite its emergence as an economic giant, China has a woefully inadequate social safety net, and the government is eager to prevent any discussion of the plight of the poor. When you search the Chinese phrase pinkin or poverty on kid.com, the top news article is about research that shows poverty is the fourth leading cause of mortality in the United States. In China, the mainstream media rarely covers the root reasons of poverty. Bu Chenfeng was the one who recorded the footage that was later taken from the Chinese internet. He had released a video of an old woman living on less than $15 per month on prominent video sites. Many social media critics felt he was disclosing too much. This subject is untouchable, one commentator on Xiu, a site similar to Quora, 
commented on a now-deleted debate thread. One person remarked, his account was censored simply because he showed what life is like for many people. Mr. Hu interviews the woman, a 78-year-old widow, on the street in Chengdu, China in the film, which is still available outside of China on YouTube. She stated that she intended to buy only rice because it was the only thing she could afford. She hadn't had any meat in a long time. As she described her financial difficulties, tears streamed down her face. The two were strolling through a grocery store. They purchased rice, eggs, meat, and flour. The total bill was 127 yuan or $18. Mr. Hu was adamant about paying. He too was moved, signing off with a heavy heart. The video was pulled from China's two largest user-generated video platforms. Mr. Gu's accounts have been frozen. A Xu discussion thread about why the government does not allow videos about the impoverished was also banned. Because there are no poor people in China, one social media user surmised in a written message before the thread vanished. China has eliminated poverty. Because this society only allows you to celebrate prosperity, wrote another. You have to shoulder all the sufferings yourself and not share them online. In many countries, including the United States, income disparity is a problem. The wealth disparity in China is greatest between rural and urban residents. The gap is caused by government policies that tie social benefits, such as education, healthcare, and pensions, to where a person was born rather than their residency, income, or needs. The policy primarily harms retirees. According to a government assessment, older individuals in the countryside got an average of $27 per month in social security benefits in 2021. That pension is just around 5% of what the average metropolitan retiree receives. One viral film depicting elders struggling to make ends meet was shot in Henan, one of China's most populated regions, where the government increased monthly pensions for rural citizens from $16 to $18 this year. Two porters in their 70s are shown in the film unloading a lorry of cement using their hands and shoulders. Poverty was not a topic that people paid much attention to during China's go-go years of spectacular economic expansion which spanned the 1990s to the mid-2010s. With the country's economic engine sputtering, Chinese who have recently entered the middle class are concerned that they may slip back into poverty, which is why these films have gained traction. Many of them were unaware of the extent and frequency of poverty in the country due to propaganda and censorship. When the then-Prime Minister, La Qiqiang, declared in 2020 that 600 million Chinese 40% of the population had monthly incomes of less than $150. Some individuals who didn't know where the figures came from labeled it fake news. The public may now see the poor and some of the unpleasant parts of life in China. Thanks to video streamers traversing the country looking for revealing facts that draw online interest. This is one of the reasons for the censoring. That's it guys. Please feel free to discuss your theories in the box below and click the bell symbol to subscribe to this channel and get notified when new videos are uploaded. We hope to see you back here soon with even more engaging videos. Farewell, till our next meeting.